Hello everyone, it's another i80386SX video. And we have this Compaq LTE 5280 that has been featured in plenty of videos. But one thing that has gotten me every time when installing Windows 95 on these is the sound card driver. And it's always been a pain to install it. As you can see, it has a problem. It comes that way fresh with the install. It says the device is not present, not working properly, blah, blah, blah. So, to fix this, you have to obtain SP1860, either from Compaq or some other source. I'm going to name that correctly, because I don't like that extra one on there. There's been a lot of troubleshooting with this one. The next thing you need is a blank three and a half inch floppy diskette drive. And unfortunately, it has to be a diskette drive. That's the limitation of Compact's driver installation program. Next thing you do, you run it. You have to press page down, follow all the instructions. Where is page down on this laptop? Right there. And then you gotta type in agree. They make it work a little for this. And then type in A for the A drive or whatever your drive might be and press enter to make the disk. I'm also doing this for my own personal documentation because I think this is the fourth time I tried this and I never remember what I do so like a, any good tech or technical person it's time to document this stuff. And yes, and I tried to even extract this file with a utility like WinRAR or 7-Zip and neither one of them recognize this file. Okay, it's done. So at this point we close her out. We'll go back to device manager and we'll see if we can update this driver. Nine times out of ten this should be a pretty easy process, but I always have a problem. And disk is in the drive. And no joy. This is what I get every time. And I may have some random laptops that just don't work. So, lucky for us, Windows 95 is such a security haven that it is so difficult to fix this. Actually, it's very easy to fix this. So, you want to find the two files here, the ES1688 driver and VXD. Copy them. If they don't show up, you'll want to go to View, Folder Options, and you will want to go over to the View tab where it says Hidden Files. You have this checked if you don't already. So now that we have our files copied, we're going to go over to our C drive, Windows, System. If your sound card is working, or if you have Windows 98, you don't have to go through this. So just keep going down to your system files until you find those two files, ES1688, DRV, and VXD. The two files in the system directory, we're going to put a dot hold on them. Now, paste your files. and verify that your files did indeed copy. And, and they went to the bottom on, in my case, so now eject the disk, close out a file explorer, and restart your computer.
let's go in. That's the sound of victory there, folks. I'm 99% certain that the sound card will detect properly now. Beautiful. The device is working properly. It still says that the driver version is 824.96. I don't care. But one other thing to note, if this is a brand new install, I had fixed this problem previously on this laptop before, so I had some of the extra stuff on here. I think it was multimedia. If this checkbox doesn't check or gives you a warning that some files aren't installed, close out of multimedia, you go to Windows Setup, and you go to multimedia, and the things you want to install, you can install audio compression if you want, it doesn't really matter, but I installed the sound schemes, the sample sounds. You want to install the sound recorder and volume control if they're not already. Make sure you have your Windows 95 discs available to you if the second you do this. Uh, other than that, drivers are here to stay. If you want to go back and delete those other two, you can. Don't find it really necessary. Disk space is cheap even on something like this. So at this point, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, constructive criticism, you can look me up in the comments section and I will answer your questions questions, comments, or constructive criticism to the best of my ability. So, thank you again for watching another Vintage Computer Repair video.